Welcome to another edition of Quick Tip King. Today we're talking about color correction. All right, so I've got my clip. Now I'm gonna go over to my effects. I'm gonna add two effects. I'm gonna add color correction, and I'm gonna go down to masks, and I'm gonna draw a mask, and we'll do that in a moment. But first, let's check out our scopes. All right, how do you, how do you use a scope? Let's go up to Window, Viewer Display, and show video scopes. You can also hit Command 7, which is what I usually like to do because it's a little bit faster. If your vector scope isn't up, just click on your gear and choose vector scope from your list. All right, so remember I told you to add a draw mask. That is so that we can isolate some skin. So I'm gonna draw a circle around my friend Nathan's face right here. And now I have skin tone selected. Now, what this line is right here is actually a skin tone line. Doesn't matter race, Gender, tan, doesn't matter. That is everyone's skin tone. So I'm gonna take middle, because most skin tones are supposed to be in the middle. And I'm going to find the, the sweet spot where that ends up being right on the correct skin tone. And play around with it till you get it. Bada bing, now you can take your mask off. Now he's, uh, the rest is looking a little bit red, so you may have to change some of the other stuff. But that is how you get accurate skin tones. So this one's looking a little, little red, so I'm gonna go anti-red. I still have my skin tones pretty much correct right on that line. And that is how you correct for skin tones. Thank you, and check out more tutorials on QuickTipKing.com.